Isaiah chapter 32 verse 11. Hey, sister, hey, hey, can I ask y'all a question? No, what's the question? What, like, what are you guys going to do when the famine comes up? When it's a famine? Um, that's good. Pray that the Lord lift us up like Enoch. But hold on, but hey, I, I, are y'all married? I am. What about you, sis? You not married? Hey, you, hey, you should get her to marry your husband too so y'all could be sister wives. <laughs> Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for God is with me. Your staff and your rod, they come for me. Amen. Thank the Lord for my blessings, for my strength and protection Man, I know that God got me, but I still keep a weapon in my city Niggas shady for this money, they a trip But I keep that 40 tucked, I won't let them catch me slip If I have to catch a body, I just pray the Lord forgive I don't wanna hurt nobody, but you know it's me or them And see, I ain't tryna die, I'm just tryna live my life Gotta live it to the fullest, cause you ain't gonna do it twice Alright, I'm out to get it, gotta make some moves to myself, I got things to prove I know I'm great, won't procrastinate Cause wasting time is just a way to lose A lot of people wanna see me win But even more wanna see me fail I pray to God for so much success Do any problem, I will prevail Staying patient cause time to tell Won't stop till I'm doing well Won't stop till I can pay that bill And get my people up out in jail Won't stop till I make it Striving just to reach greatness The people that are headed up the world to this time Nor, no, nor shall ever be yeah, man, it's gonna be great tribulation, man. Listen, man, Jacob's trouble is Jacob's trouble is around the uh, is around the corner, man. Family of the word is around the corner, right? The, the right the mark of the beast is around the corner, man. Right? All hell breaking loose, martial law, race wars, all of that is around the corner. Sister, how you doing? Are you married? No. You're not married? I was. So what you gonna do when the race wars pop up? How you gonna have that hedge of protection? I'm gonna uh, got Jesus. What? Jesus. You see, but that's our people though. That's our people, man. Jesus is gonna come down and save you. <laughs> he gonna come and save you. <laughs> you know how many women are in this world that, 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 that feel like they don't need a man? But he gonna come and save you because what, you're special? Are you keeping the law, sets and commandments? Christ gonna say, Christ say, if you ain't doing what he's, Christ say, if you're not doing what you're supposed to, he gonna say he knew you not, right? That's it on that? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Oh, it's a And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Say, That's right! Say, seven women are going to take hold of one man, yo. Right? They're going to see that man as the hedge of protection, man. Jesus! He gonna, they, listen, man. All that, you know, I, you know I, I, like, I don't want to share my man nonsense and all this garbage, man. That's going to go out the window when you're seeing women literally getting drug out in the streets and, and ravaged, man. Right? Ah! The powerful priest Rama Moff was, uh, was telling me, because because he was, um, he, he grew up in Louisiana around the time of uh, Hurricane Katrina, and he was telling me how, like, those first few nights in the in the Superdome, it was, you know, like, it, like all the power had gone out. And, you know, at, like, when it's, like, when it's nighttime, it's pitch black. And he was telling me, like, how, like, you can hear women screaming Talk about screaming for help in the in, in like in the shadows, but could nobody go help them? Because number one, you don't know where you don't know where it's at. Number two, if you go out there, you might get your ass killed or something, man. Right? So it, listen, man, it's time, man. Women gotta under give me Isaiah uh, 32 and 11. Right? It's time, man. We gotta understand that we all we got. We gotta get our houses in order. We gotta get ourselves in order, man, before the destruction hey cometh, man. Bye, devil. Read. <laughs> this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 11. Uh -huh. Tremble ye women that are at ease. It said what? Tremble ye women that are at ease. The Bible says, tremble ye women that are at ease. Hey, man. Hey, man. You physically fit, but why you killing yourself, bro? You got to put the seat back down, man. Long enough. Why not live uh, forever, man? Why you don't want to live to see your, your great-grandkids, man? That's crazy. He said, I'll live long enough. But see, that, hey, but that just going to what he's talking about. We made a covenant with death, man. You can read.
read about uh, our people dying from lung cancer in uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 22. Oh, what is it? Deuteronomy 28, I believe 23. I can't remember. Nah, read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 11. Hey, sister, hey, hey can I ask y'all a question? What question? Like, what are you guys going to do when the famine comes out? When it's a famine? Um, that's the but hold on, but hey, are, hey, are y'all married? I am. What about you, sis? You not married? Hey, you hey, you should get her to marry your husband too, so y'all could be sister wives. <laughs> Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 11. Uh -huh. Tremble ye women that are at ease. It says, Tremble ye women that are at ease. Read. Be troubled. Uh huh. Ye careless ones. You careless one, man. Because listen, our women, our women are just walking around without a care in the you know, no care in the world, man. I ask them what they going to do during the family. That's a good question. I say she should marry your your, uh, your husband. Listen, that's the best advice that she probably ever, uh, she would probably ever get from a man. Marry her. Marry her husband. So y'all can have that, that support system. That's just, that's just, oh my God, no. Let her guy alone, fuck her. I got my own man. You, that's selfish as hell, man. <laughs> that's selfish as hell, man. The Bible says, tremble ye women that are at ease, man. All of our women that are at ease are thinking that they don't need no man, you know, they getting the bag off OnlyFans and all that other garbage. Listen, man, when the EMPs drop, when all hell break loose and they kicking doors in, right, you gonna wish that, you, 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 hey, listen, you gonna wish that you gave Lil Leroy at the gas station a chance, man. How you doing, sis? You good? Hey, let me ask you a question real quick. You ain't going nowhere fast. Hey, look, look, hey, look at this real quick. You see yourself on this side? Come on, sir, just double back. Don't, don't, don't chop it up with me real quick. You see yourself on this side? You African American? On your dad's side? Okay, have you ever heard about the Israelites before? You know you're Israelite? Like this, from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe that Jesus Christ came from. You know, you know he dark skin like you. Oh yeah. Yeah, he dark skin like you. He don't look like this cracker right here. He don't look like this piece. Of hey. But yeah, he, this is this, this the devil right here. This the devil. This is this right here has kept us in such a down trying to stay. Huh? You said what? Sir? You said what? Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. Remember now thy creator. Remember, you 20 years old, you dumb as hell, read. Remember now thy creator uh -huh. in the days of thy youth. Remember the creator in the days of thy youth, read. Why the evil days come not. Why the evil days come not, right? You know, listen, we're exposed to so much badness in the world, right? They can get killed, right? Kidnapped, all type of bullshit that go on. We have to remember the Lord in the days of our youth so we can get that hand of protection. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw not. But thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You said he don't care about it. You're 20 years old, you're dumb as hell. Right? You, right now, you gonna have more of a theater listening when you're 40 years old and you stuck in the way. Right? You got a man? Here he is on? Alright, well listen, listen. I, I've been asking women uh, for about 15 minutes now. What's gonna happen when it's a famine?
You're 20. Why you act like that so young? You said what? Man is not in the picture right now. So what's in the picture right now? I mean, but so, so, you, so you, you can't get yourself together and get a man? That's a lot. I'm talking about a man that's going to take you serious. I'm not talking about a man that, that, that's going to have fun with you. I'm talking about a man that's really going to take you serious. Well, I'm going to take you serious. Telling me, so you know, telling me right now, first time you see like slow ass coming and, and, and let you know you got you. You telling me that you just gonna say, oh, I'm good. He got you. He listen. He got. He got you. He got you like. He got you like a back brace. And he just gonna say, but I wanna know that though. But if I know, but you, yeah, you, you won't know. But you gotta give him a chance. You gotta give him a chance. And when I say give him a chance, I'm not telling you to. Sleep with him, I'm telling you, like, get to know him and see if his intentions are real. See if his intentions are good. And if it's good, then you, hey, man. You can, it's all about taking that leap of faith. Everything is about a leap of faith, sis. She like, oh, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> Come on, sis, what's your name? Brandy. We gave you the flyer right there. Look into that flyer, all right? You are a special, special. You are special.